Today I want to talk with you all about a topic which I've grown to be more and more concerned about over the past few months, and it's something which I haven't really seen a lot of creators and just in general the online community really delve into, and it's got everything to do with something you might have heard called YouTube Shorts. I've been doing full-time content creation maybe for the past eight years or so at this point, and there are very few things that I regret in those eight years. But if there's one thing I would consider doing differently if I could go back in time, it might be YouTube Shorts. Now in case you don't know what YouTube Shorts are by living under a rock somehow, YouTube Shorts is essentially content designed for when you're scrolling on your mobile device, your phone, and it's just vertical 60 second footage, clips and videos, which are designed to get you to like, comment, subscribe, and just to give you that quick hit of dopamine. Now I personally watch short form content, I also make my own short form content, and I've been doing so for the past two years, and in this video I want to talk about the results of doing so and give you the pros, but moreover talk about the red flags and the warning signs of doing YouTube shorts and short form content in general, and why it might be something you might want to consider not doing. Now not only have I been making YouTube shorts for the past two years or so, I've also been doing TikTok for the past two years, and just last year I started doing Instagram Reels as well. And I've seen some incredible positives and great upsides into doing this. I've been able to grow the TikTok account to over 4 million followers. In just a year of doing Instagram Reels, we managed to get the Instagram account to 400,000 followers. And on YouTube, ever since I started doing Shorts, my subscribers and monthly views have grown like crazy. But I want to talk about how things might not look as good as they seem. I rarely ever get recognized out in public, really being because I'm an ASMR creator, but moreover because a lot of you live in the United States. But the times when I would get recognized, even just a year ago, when I would go out in public and a viewer or a fan, I hate using that word, uh, would recognize me, I'd always ask them, uh, what sort of videos of mine do you watch? And nine times out of 10, they would say, I watch your videos to fall asleep, your long form content, your sleep videos, the three hour ones, your tingle or role play videos, and that'd be that. However, nowadays, whenever I go out in public and get recognized, I ask that same question, and eight times out of 10 now, it seems like they will say, I watch your TikToks, your Reels, and your YouTube Shorts. And it's been very interesting to observe the sort of shift in demand and the sort of growth in the audience I've been able to cultivate, especially those who watch shorter form content. And it's not just me, everyone nowadays watch, watches, it seems to be more and more short form content over long form videos. And look, one of the greatest things about YouTube Shorts and short form content in general is that it's so easy to grow quickly. If we even start looking at my channel, in the past 30 days alone, I've been able to grow about 90,000 subscribers and gain over 50 million unique video views. And if we look even in general into the macro uh, scale of my monthly gain video views and monthly gain subscribers over the past four years, you can really see how shorts have had a huge impact on the growth of my channel. If we look in the 2020 to 2022 range, to even 2023, you could see that I would gain about 15 million views, all being from long form content, and about 30 to 40,000 subscribers from my long form content. In 2022 slash 2023, however, when I decided to start doing long uh, short form content, you can see a crazy rise in monthly subscribers of up to hundreds of thousand subscribers and millions, up to 75 million views, a lot of it being from shorts. And I remember when this was all happening. I remember when I would have my shorts, especially now still to this day, some of my most popular videos are from my short form content. 35 million views, 34 million views, 15 million views, and it's crazy. I remember in the moment seeing on my real time analytics, seeing some of my shorts gain 500,000 views in an hour at one point. It was wild, it was crazy, and it felt great. I mean, you feel, like you're doing well, you feel like you're doing things right. And then you look at your sub counts and you look at your monthly analytics and stuff like that. And so for the past, you know, in the original five to six years of doing YouTube, whenever you wanna see how well your channel is doing, the metrics you would go off are those. You would see how many views you've gained that month, how many subscribers you've gained in that month, and how much revenue you would generate in that month. And if all of those are going up, chances are it's doing pretty good. However, this is when I started to notice the biggest issue with shorts. 
When I started doing shorts and they started really taking off, my views went up, my subscribers went up, but revenue would start to go down. And then I started to really notice a huge shift. More and more of my audience started to only watch my short form content. And the thing that I've come to realize, and the number one thing if you have to take away something, if you're an aspiring content creator, is that the quality of a shorts viewer is nowhere near, unfortunately, the quality of a long form viewer. And what I mean by this is that the level of commitment that is required from a viewer that's watching your content, if it's shorts, they're just scrolling on their phone and they'll probably forget and never even think about your video forever, to be honest, unless you come back up on their feed. But when you watch a long form video, you're, as you as a viewer are dedicating a time to watch that video, to sit down, to spend minutes to sometimes tens of minutes, sometimes even an hour or so to watch that long form video where you might actually think about it. But moreover, there's pretty much no advertisements on short form content. On my TikTok, for example, I've been able to gain over a billion unique views on my TikTok and I have made zero dollars from TikTok. That's mostly being because there's no creator fund for Oceana creators, unlike the United States. So I've made no money from TikTok. I literally just do it as a sort of a free advertisement to entice viewers who scroll on my shorts to maybe check out my YouTube channel to watch some of my longer form stuff. The sort of content that I actually put my blood, sweat and tears into. The sort of content that I actually spend most of my time making, the longer form stuff. And so I've sort of noticed that as my shorts would grow like crazy, I would notice that yes, my views went up, Yes, my subscribers went up, but my revenue would go down. And not only this, but people were actually watching my long form content less. In these statistics, you can see I would gain about 15 to 17 to 20 million uh, monthly views from my long form content. And the revenue was correlated with that. However, even though I've made 50 million unique views this month, 40 million out of 50 million of those was from short form content. And so I've actually gained less views from my long form content. Now that can be attributed to a few things like I started uploading less long form videos in general, of course, but it really does go to show that most of my views are from shorts. And the quality of those viewers, unfortunately, just isn't the same as long form videos. And so it's really jarring and it's been very difficult, I suppose, over the past few months to sort of take those metrics that I would, you know, refer to, to see how well my channel was performing. And it's all been sort of thrown out the window. Nowadays, subscriber count and views is just a vanity thing. And it's not actually representative at all as of how well your channel is really doing. And so one of the things I've started to think about and consider is stepping away from short form content, specifically from YouTube. I'll keep up Instagram reels and TikTok. But I'm seriously considering stepping down or at least cutting at least in half my upload of short form content. Because it seems that to me at this point that YouTube likes to promote my short form content more than my long form content by far. And I've noticed that this has also started to affect other creators. If you look up the ASMR search category, up until maybe two years ago, it would just be a lot of long form content where there might be a little short speed. But now if you search up ASMR in the search bar, it seems like it's just a lot of YouTube ASMR shorts. And that's sort of taking the priority over the long form content, not just for mine, but for tons of other creators. If you look at a lot of other big ASMR creators, a lot of their views just aren't what they used to be or aren't the same. Now, obviously this can be because of, you know, trends in general and whatnot, but it is quite concerning to see other creators also start to notice a big, I guess, downswing in their views. So if I were to recommend one thing, and if you're an aspiring content creator, I would say think twice before doing YouTube shorts. I think it's good to do them every once in a while, but making YouTube shorts as a starting point and as the foundation of your channel may prove to be more challenging and actually have more downsides down the road. At the moment, I sort of do my upload schedule will be a long form content, then a day break, then a short, then a day break, then a long form content, and I'll alternate like that. But from here on out, I'm probably going to cut the number of shorts in half or even step down from them 
substantially because it seems to me that it's affecting uh, the quality of my viewers and it doesn't seem like a lot of people are watching my longer form stuff which is what I really want people to watch because it's the videos that I'm spending most of my time doing. So let me know your thoughts about YouTube Shorts and what you think about them in general and you can even talk about your thoughts in general about long form content and uh, short form content's effects on viewers. Thanks for watching. Bye.